politicians are crooks or at least this is what most of us think about but how many politicians are with criminal background in indian politics have you ever thought about this a recent a research done by a student from ail university has released a shocking report like every one of you i was also shocked on seeing that report i just want to share the crux of the report to everyone the report says in 1947 most of our politicians are clean that is right after our independence but the goons to get their job done they use the politicians in whatever way the politicians are in need of either in the form of money or something else over a period that's like 2 3 decades past india was changing so many industrial revolutions everything else coming in so india was drastically changing so many new political parties emerged so by the time the good old ancient party losing its power and the new new born political parties were looking for candidates for their polit politics so campaign became political campaign become very expensive by the time even today it's too much so the only way to give a seat to a candidate is those who have enough financial background the goons are the one which have the financial background so they were being elected by the political parties and these people do know everything about the mindset of common indian public still india is a poor country as per records still 47% of indian people are living below, below the poverty line these politicians make use of this what they did they gave what the public want they gave not everything the public want they gave what they have that is the money they gave the money to the poor people to vote for them so this is continuing top to bottom and these goons were elected as member of parliaments 15 years back it was 15 percentage of the people of the member of parliaments having the criminal backgrounds now if you see that that percentage has been increased after last three elections it's shocking to hear the number it is 34 percentage of parliamentarians having criminal background out of 18 percentage having serial serious criminal cases against them so what is the reason for this two things one is which i said that the poverty of the people <coughs> and second thing we don't have enough courts and we don't have enough police if you compare to the western world out of every 10 lakh there are at least 100 policemen in the country but we don't have surprisingly and very sadly we have 31 million cases are pending in the court police identifying the criminals and putting them charge it takes a time but even it takes more than a decade to punish the corrupted or the criminals so we as the people of india what we have to do to stop this kind of a things because the number is shocking it's increasing 
year over year, election over election. So if it continues like this, maybe in another 15 to 20 years, more than 50 percentage of the parliamentarians will have the criminal background. So what as a common people? We can't fight against the politicians. We can't fight against the rich and muscle goons. What we can do? We can do one thing. Change our thought process. How? Say, for example, I'll give you a small piece of information. This will, this will help you to think. See, if you want to find a groom for your own children, how are we doing? We are, we are thinking about okay, what 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 he or she is studied, what is her qualification, and what is her parents' qualification, and what kind of a social status they have, and even sometime to an extent, we appoint a private detective agency to do the background check, just. For one child in our home, we are doing all these things. Think about, we are giving the entire mother India to rule to someone who has a criminal background. How can we do like this? Just think over it. Think over it. It's your own mother India. Will you allow this? Only the mental thought process change can stop this. No one else. Thank you.